I am back today talking about a subject that I get asked about time and time again on the channel and Instagram and in person, the differences between the RMR cut and the doctor cut. This is going to be a versus video in where I describe what I personally recommend if you're purchasing a handgun and some optics options for each of those slide cuts. I have a video though titled something similar to watch this before buying a red dot for a handgun and that video describes everything you need to know about mounting a red dot to a handgun and a lot of the other various cuts on the market but the main two we're going to be focused on really derived from that Palmetto State Armory dagger. The PSA dagger has made it a nice entry level platform. It's one of these guys you see right here that comes in at about $299 and you can even get it for that low of a price with threaded barrels, raised iron sights, and the optic cut, whether it be the doctor cut or the RMR cut. Those cuts are not interchangeable, but the dagger makes you pick because it doesn't have different slide plate options. A lot of other companies machine that directly into the slide as well, so you're going to have to make a choice, and this video is going to help you do that. If you're interested in the Palmetto State Armory Dagger, I highly recommend it. I've got 1,000 round reviews, torture test reviews, and all the information can be found on my campsite page, as well as subscribing to my channel and checking out all of those videos. If you're not subscribed, definitely do so because we're continuing to review all of the new optics coming out for these handguns, as well as the new dagger slides. And all of that information is available on my channel and my campsite page. My campsite page will be linked in the description below. The daggers can be had as a complete frame or a slide, and you can get them very affordable, like complete slides with threaded barrels, raised sights, and the cuts for like $1.99. And there are Glock 19 clones, so they drop onto any Glock 19 frame. But let's get back to the main point of this video, the differences between the RMR and Doctor Cut. So the RMR cut was made famous by the Trigicon RMR. Now those red dots cost about four or $500, so in response, Vortex and Burris with the Fast Fire as well as the Vortex Viper and Venom created their own independent cuts that were much more affordable around the two $250 price point. Even True Glow got into it making about a $100, $120 red dot that fit uh, very similar to a doctor cut. And it's really expanded over the years. And PSA has really nailed that doctor cut and RMR cut on their slides. So for me, it was more of a choice of, do you want to get something like a four or 500 red dot? Or do you want to get something like a $250 red dot? And that was the decision she had to make about five or six years ago. Now, I'm sure there's people in the comments typing in other red dots that kind of broke out of that mold, but that's what was really happening about six years ago in the grand scheme of things. Since then, many, many companies, in fact, many companies this year that I've worked with have come out with high value and budget red dots for the RMR cut as low as $70 with Auto On and Auto Off technology and a list of other specs and features that make them just insanely impressive. Also since then, there's a ton of companies coming out with doctor cut optics that have those same feature sets. But the first difference is RMR cut seems to be winning. This is just my humble opinion, but as I'm getting people reaching out to me um, through my YouTube channel to review their products, nine times out of 10 when they're sending me a new handgun red dot, it is in the pattern of the RMR. It also gives you a little bit more scalability. If you follow the channel, you'll know I love a lot of the Sealy products, and I'll be linking some of those in the description below. But Sealy is really one of the only companies making high value and budget red dots for the RMR cut pattern. So if you already have an RMR cut handgun and you want to know what other high value and budget optics I recommend, check out my Sealy reviews especially the CAF XL, as well as the CAF version 2. Those are going to be great high-value options with auto-on, auto-off technology, very clear glass, large viewing windows, and bright dots with long battery life, as well as the fact that the battery compartment can be changed out of the front, and they have built-in sights into the rear of the optic. So that's what I'm going to recommend for like a high-value doctor cut version. Now, a lot of the Vortex Venoms and Burris Fast Fires don't have that auto on technology and they're two or three times the price. So this is what I'm recommending for the doctor cuts. Now there's a few other companies like Primary Arms that were making some for the doctor cut, but they didn't necessarily fit the PSA dagger. And that's another con of the doctor cut. 
The doctor cut itself seems to be a little bit more vague and confusing for companies to reproduce exactly what you're talking about. Whether it be a flat back doctor cut or a round back doctor cut, a little thing, it's just not quite as standard as the RMR cut. And that's the second thing with the RMR cut. It seems like you get more optics options and it seems to be more standardized. I've never had an RMR cut optic come to the channel that hasn't fit any RMR cut that I've had on a handgun or a plate designed for the RMR. And that's the reason why I like to select the RMR cut. So these are a few different options right off the bat. So Sealy makes some ones that are $100. The Zolci that I just reviewed is under $100. The Fox Army that I just reviewed is under $100. And all of these are auto on and auto off technology red dots with different features, whether you want a low profile one or something with a top load battery compartment that's an RMR cut, incredibly bright dots, and it also scales up accordingly. So in the RMR lineup, you really have the entry level at 75-ish dollars and watch some of my videos for the coupon codes and I'll try to link those in the description below. Then you kind of jump up to that mid-tier. Something like the Swamp Fox is going to be an RMR cut. And then the Hollow Suns that are just insanely impressive with a wide variety of reticle selections. They've got solar panels on board, side adjustments and side battery compartments, 50,000 hour battery life, and the list goes on and on. And you could start grabbing the Hollow Suns at about two to $300. So you can see this gap between 75 to 100 with some of the budget ones that I've reviewed on Amazon. You shift up to that two to $300 range, and then you can switch to some insane red dots made by Trigicon, but honestly, I never go that far because Hollow Suns really kick their butts, in my opinion, when it comes to the specs and features at the price. So that's why, in my opinion, I always recommend grabbing the RMR Cut Optic if you have the option. So if you're on PSA's website and you see one of the deals on my campsite page, you see one of my stories on an RMR Cut slide, that's what I would recommend. Now, I also don't mind recommending the Dr. Cut Optic just knowing its limitations, and that's why I have this channel. A lot of times it's compatibility, and I always try out the PSA dagger as its standard, and PSA put out a ton of dagger slides with a Dr. Cut that people already have, and that's why I'm continuing to review Dr. Cut optics like the Sealy Calf as well as the Sealy V2. And for instance, I'll show you guys and pull out one of the Sealy V2s right now. They come packaged incredibly nicely. This is the Calf X2, sorry. So the CAF yeah, V2, made by Sealy, they do come with a pick mount in the box, and then you can remove them and drop them on that Dr. Cut Optics. So then you have just a nice viewing window. It gets very bright. It's got the side push button controls and the sights built in, and you can have these uh, sub $100 after my code. So I definitely still recommend the uh, Dr. Cut. Like it's, it's not the end of the world if you grab one of those. Just know that you're not gonna be able to scale up to something like the Hollow Sun or the Trigicon RMR. You're gonna kind of be left in this category, and I feel like that's fine if you wanted to do a nice high value build and you found one super cheap on PSA website but in my opinion if you had the difference or the choice to choose between the RMR or the doctor cut and they're completely interchangeable and price was identical the RMR cuts just a little bit more versatile in the optics selected and a little bit more standardized so when you do grab something you know it's going to fit so I hope this gives you a ton of information again some of the highlights check out that campsite page for all the best deals on pretty much everything I find on the internet Next is subscribe to the channel because if you haven't done so, I'm continuously doing this. If you subscribe to the channel, a lot of times it'll save you a ton of money and give you that information and go through the backlog of videos because the questions I get nine times out of 10 are already answered in some of the previous videos, but I like to make culmination videos like this explaining a lot of key points and very good questions that my viewers have because those are the same questions I had even as of six months, eight months ago, and that's why I'm trying this stuff so I can figure it out um, and spend my time so you guys don't have to waste your time each individually. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.